Hello friends. Now in this case we are going to discuss the second method of getting initial solution of a transportation problem. The method is least cost method, the lowest cost method. The biggest limitation of northwest corner method was <clears throat> at the time of making allocation we don't consider the cost. As we are aware that the objective of <clears throat> Transportation problem, solution of transportation problem is minimization of transportation cost. But the tragedy is in northwest corner method, at the time of making a location, we don't consider cost. That is ridiculous. So from that limitation of the oldest method, northwest corner method, our senior mathematician derived a new method that is least cost method directly relevant to the objective at the time of making a location we just require to select the cell of rather empty cell with the lowest cost that's all so no geographical location is important just find out the cell with the lowest cost and make a location now what about tie see the lowest cost in this table is one and there are three cells with least cost one. At one time, we have to make allocation in one cell only. Now, what should be used as tiebreaker? The quantity of allocation should be used as tiebreaker. The cell with the allocation of highest quantity should be selected at the time of tie among the cells with the lowest cost. Let us take this cell. What quantity can be allocated to this cell? The rule of allocation remains same. Demand 20 or supply 30, whichever is lower, 20. So we can make allocation of 20 units to this cell. Now for this. Demand 30, supply 30, no problem of whichever is lower. We can make allocation of 30. Now, this cell with rupee 1, demand 10, supply 50, whichever is lower, 10. So, we can make allocation of 10 units to this cell. 10 units, 30 units, 20 units. The cell with the highest possible quantity of allocation must be selected. So, we should make allocation in this cell first. Even though we have another two cells with the same least cost of rupee 1 per unit. Let us start. So, we have to use the tiebreaker. And the tiebreaker is maximum possible quantity of allocation. In this cell, we can allocate 20 units. In this cell, we can allocate 30 units. And in this cell, we can allocate only 10 units. So, we are going to select this cell. Let us allocate 30 units to this cell. Supply of S1 exhausted, demand of D3 satisfied. So we have to cancel both D3 column and S1 row at the same time. Now, the remaining part of the table 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 cells. Only 6 cells are now open. Again, same thing. What is the least cost out of the all open uncovered cells? Again it is 1. What allocation can be made? Demand 10 units, supply 50 units, whichever is lower. So we can allocate 10 units. Let us allocate 10 units to this cell. Demand of D4 satisfied. Supply of S2 is 50. We have allocated only 10. So there are still 40 units. So we need to cancel only column D3. Only column D3 is cancelled. Now the remaining part is this only. Out of these four empty cells and uncovered cells, which is the lowest cost? The lowest cost is 2. So we have to make allocation to this cell. The allocation possible is demand 40 units, supply 20 units, Whichever is lower, 20. We have allocated all 20 units. 
So supply of S3 is exhausted. But demand of D2 was 40, allocation of 20 was made. So still unsatisfied demand of 20. But we have to cancel the row of S3 because no supply is available from S3. Now there is tie between the two cells. But see the allocation of same quantity can be made 20 demand or 40 supply whichever is lower in both the cells. We have to make allocation of 20. Now let us count the number of cells with allocation 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. M plus N minus 1 rule suggests that allocation should be made in 6 cells 3 plus 4 minus 1, 6. But the allocation is possible at this stage in only 5 cells. So this is not a feasible solution. But we can say that this is initial solution which is not feasible just for our Curiosity, let us calculate the total cost units multiplied by cost per unit and the result is total cost. Units 30 at the cost of rupee 1, so total cost 30. Units 20 at the cost of rupees 3, 60 rupees. Similarly, in this cell also, units 20 at the cost of 3, 60 rupees. In this cell, 10 units at a cost of rupee 1, 10 rupees. In this cell, 20 units at a cost of rupees 2, 40 rupees. Total 100 units, tell it. Now, what is the total cost? So, if we apply least cost method, we can transport 100 units from 3 sources to 4 destinations at a total cost of 200. We know that when we had applied northwest corner method for the same problem, the total cost was 310. So, by applying least cost method, the total cost has decreased considerably. But this is not feasible solution, that means this is not optimal solution. We have to follow further steps and further method to get the feasible and optimal solution. But that is another topic. So this was least cost method. Thank you very much.